हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक जावा टी कोडिंग माय नेम इज संजय कुमार एंड टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द स्प्रिंग बूट प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग मेवन स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो आई एम यूजिंग द एस टी एस नाउ गो टू द फाइल न्यू फाइन द मेवन प्रोजेक्ट नेक्स्ट स्केप नेक्स्ट now we have to provide the group id so group id just like a package name com dot java decoding dot spring dot boot artifact just like a project name so spring boot simple project and now is packaging jar as it is same leave it as same now click on finish So here, a Spring Boot Simple Maven project is created. This is the default structure of the Maven project. Just click on the form dot XML. Here we have to provide the Spring Boot dependency. So firstly, we will provide the parent. Group ID. org dot spring spring framework dot boot and the artifact id spring boot starter parent right And also we have to provide the version 2.0.3 dot release. And this is the this is the parent dependency of the Spring Boot. So if you are going to, uh, any kind of Spring Boot application, we can create using this parent dependency. So this is just like a parent-child relationship. so we can use this parent in any uh, child uh, project of spring boot also we have to add the dependency in a one form we can have only the one parent so i am uh, adding another dependency using the dependency tag org dot spring framework dot boot and sorry inside the dependency we have to provide the group id this is the group id and the artifact id spring Boot starter bit. Control S. Spring Boot related application related all the dependency required dependency has been downloaded. All right, these these are required dependency. Now I will create the simple class man method class com dot spring boot class. test man so this class i am using the at the rate spring boot application annotation to run this application 
spring application dot run this uh, this is the this class has the run method and run method will take two parameter first parameter this class it's this test name test main class itself so test main dot class and second is the command line argument all right now i will also create the controller test controller finish this class now it's as a controller class public string string message welcome to spring boot application right return and also i use the request parameter to execute this method to map this method with the spring boot application Right. Now I will update my run. Click on the force update the snapshot release. So my run project has been updated successfully. Now I will run using this testman class right click run run as java application application is starting yes so this spring boot application is deployed on tomcat server port 8080 because spring boot is provide the tomcat inbuilt server right so this uh, also we have created the controller class so this controller is mapped with this url right this is the test controller class message method so just let's check whether this application is working or not MSG. see so welcome to the spring boot application so that means this method has been invoked by hitting this url so in this way we can create the simple spring boot application so here is the all the required dependency so main two dependency we have to keep in mind this is the one is the parent one and second is the web dependence because we have created the application web application spring boot web application using the main one right that's it from this video on the next video i will explain how we can create the spring boot project using the spring initializer thank you if you like this video please like subscribe thanks thanks for watching